CredFrog here today, showing you how to get overpowered right away in GTA 3 from the get-go. Okay, we jump into the Toyota Corolla, but they can't call it that in this game because they get sued. All right, we're heading to our hideout. Okay, this is the first mission that we're thrown into effectively. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the good faithful baseball bat here. Okay, take a few swings, get used to how it feels in your hands, boys. Okay, and now let's get this mission done because we're kind of tethered to these missions right away and we want to break free of the tether to be able to do what we got to do. So going to Luigi's. Now he wants us to pick up Misty. You know, the she's a very, um, what do you call it? Refined girl with refined taste. Nothing wrong with her. She just looks like the Grinch, you know, on Christmas Day with the green outfit, okay? We're not going to talk about that, though. And don't tell her that. Never hear the end of it. Now, we are free to do what we want. The first thing we're going to do is get a pistol. What you can do is go beat the crap out of a cop at the police station. Um, and be careful because you don't want to rack up too much of a wanted level. But, you know, one can it'll usually get you one star. Now we're jumping into a police vehicle because that will get us a shotgun. So now, within the first five, six minutes of the game, we have a bat, a pistol, and a shotgun. You want to head to this jump by the subway. It's by Luigi's place for reference. Look at the radar on the bottom left. Okay. I want to jump onto the subway tracks. Don't have to use a police car. Just any car that's like even like sort of fast. We're going to make our way to the top of the head radio building because we're grabbing a flamethrower. Yeah, you heard that right. A flamethrower this early in the game, dude. So if you make a habit of coming up here every now and again, it's, I mean, it's kind of annoying, I know. It takes a little bit to do it, but if you keep doing this, you can rack that ammo up on this flamethrower and you can torch, you know, some, some butt heads early on in the game. Look at those flame effects. It looks way better than it used to. So, you know, this is where we start to be overpowered, is getting these really good weapons. Alternatively, to get pistols, you can run over Mafia guys, because there's no liability there. Their boys don't care. You know, Anthony just got his, his croissant kicked in, and Tony don't give no creps, okay? If, but if you're using fisticuffs, it's a different story. Folks, now we're going to go get hidden packages. We're getting the Banshee, okay? Let's grab the Banshee. Uh, not before I mess around with the jump physics, I guess. I got excited. And now it's time to get... There's 30 packages we can get from the get-go. 10 packages gets us a pistol, 20 an Uzi, and 30 grenades. So, we begin our journey here, right there on the map. If you need to pause the video for some of these, you can do it, okay? Um, you may have to sometimes because, you know, I don't put the map up too long. But, number one, at the end of this pier, uh, the northernmost end of this, I guess, on uh, uh, the Portland map here. All right, guys. Next package over here. It's in Hepburn Heights. Again, we need to get on top of the um, subway tracks. I mean, it's not in Hep Hepburn Heights. It's on the head radio station, I think. So, we again are going to where the flamethrower was. Let's re-up that flamethrower ammo while we're up here. Check out where we are. Okay, grab the flamethrower yet again. And grab the package right around the corner, okay? It's like Christmas Day, but it isn't, but it is. Okay, there it is. What's in the package? I don't know, it's probably illegal. Okay, third. There she is. Let's head over. It's on this little planter. Uh, in Hepburn Heights by the El Burro Payphone. All right, package four. Where are we? Here we go. Okay, so this one, you pull into its apartment complex. I went the wrong way when I started. I thought you could get around the building over here. But you cannot, you gotta curl around, but ain't no matter. We got the Banshee, okay? Let's curl around this corner. You know, kinda get back there and get the job done, okay? You're just gonna curl around to the left. Of course, the rain's ruining my perfect hair with my crew pomade is breaking down as we speak. My leather jacket smells like rain. Okay, 
package number five over here let's get it okay this is between trees in Hepburn Heights um, it was kind of hard for me to find it due to the rain dude the rain is so much more intense in this remastered edition it, it makes it so much harder to drive it's like nuts all right package number six near the paint spray in Luigi's place there's an alleyway okay with a wooden staircase I'm gonna climb up it and we're gonna go to the left up to the top of this okay and there will be another package hold on we're gonna here, show you a reference again where we are on the rooftop up high this next package is just over here on the blue rooftop. Now, it's going to say eight packages because I collected them in a different order. But this is our seventh that we're getting. Okay, so don't get confused by the eight thing. This is our seventh. Again, for reference, here we are, right here. Corner of this rooftop. Now, let's actually get number eight by going through Luigi's Mission Marker. Got to use a car, because if you walk through it, it'll start the mission. Let's scale the staircase and get this piece of crap package. All right, right above the sex clubs. Nice. You know, great, great town to raise kids in, I'll tell you that much. All right, folks, what are we doing? Number nine now. Okay, near the ammunition. It is in the Rush Construction Company place with some breakable windows. Oh, look at those glass physics, baby. A lot sexier than it used to be. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Number 10. Down here. Chinatown. Okay, we're getting, you know, near the triads. But the good thing is, triads don't hate us yet. So that's why we're doing this early in the game. Because we don't have a reputation with any of the gangs yet. Now, that is very useful in a lot of ways. Okay. Again, excuse me for reference. We're right here. Um, I reference, you know, and there we go, the chime, pistol delivered to hideout, beautiful, a beeper, okay, before cell phones we had beepers, number 11, Chinatown again, down this long stretch hallway, okay, a bunch of boxes and stuff, and number 12 is pretty close by to this one, it is just, you know, across this street, Take the left, it's going to be on top of the big building with the orange van. Now that color will probably change depending on the day and the mood swings of the car. Let's get up here, okay, with the Rockstar Games billboard, beautiful. Grab that package. I'm freaking tired, I need some Gatorade and a Pop-Tart. Package 13 time, let's go to Salvatore's house! I'm doing this in one take, can you guys tell? I'm just sitting here and doing this in one take, no matter what. If we F it up, we F it up. Okay, we're on back... Uh, uh, Salvatore's back balcony. All right, we're still tired. And then there is another uh, in Salvatore's backyard. There's this kind of cave formation in the beach. And I'll show you how to get there. If you watch closely, we'll do some pro gamer moves. You want to make sure you're above six health for this part, because if you're not, you're going to die. Let's see, how much... Okay, we lost four there. And how many here? Another four? Another four or what? Oh my god, 20. I was wrong. you got to have like freaking 40 health or something. I don't know. I'm not, not a math guy. Anyway, package 15. Actually, no. We're taking a detour. We're getting Molotov cocktails right now. So go and run over all these homeless people. Okay, I know that sounds bad, but this is a video game, okay? I was doing this when I was 11 years old in 2001, when I first got this game for Christmas from my unsuspecting grandma, who I told, oh, it's just a, it's a game where you have fun and you make friends. No, it's not. You kick the crap out of everybody. All right, so now we have four Molotov cocktails. These are freaking amazing. Notice I'm not grabbing the package yet. We're not getting it yet. But add that to your list of weapon locations. All right, now we're getting the next package. It is on top of a roof in the uh, in St. Mark's at the gas station. So over here. So through this hidden package journey, all right, number 16 coming up, I'll show you a bunch of good weapon locations. And that adds the overpowered, you know, deal of the whole freaking video. All right, number 16, where you get the Banshee, okay. 
So this Banshee is one of the best cards you can get right away. Um, you know, maybe unless you do firefighter missions, you can spawn way better ones. But here we go. It's right around the corner, basically, is the next package. Not too shabby. Not These aren't too hard to get. You just got to mark them on your map. Okay, number 18. We didn't used to be able to mark these packages in the old days, in the old GTA. But now you can actually mark them, so that does a freaking big deal, great deal of difference. Let's run up this crap, cobble crap. You know, oil slicked cobble or whatever the hell it is. And get package number 18. Okay. We ready for 19. We got to go up this, you know, up near Salvatore's uh, house. There's this kind of weird parkish area with like liability hills. That would never fly anywhere in the world today. You know, you'd be having people jumping off it on purpose to try to get, um, uh, you know, money from the city. You know, four million bucks awarded to a 50 year old lady who jumped on purpose. Okay, here we go. Package number 20. We're going back where we got the Molotovs again. Okay, but this time we're actually getting it. So it's speed down there. They're still gone, so no Molotovs. But there we go with our chirp. Uzi delivered. Much like the flamethrower, you can you can routinely come down this stretch and get these Molotovs. Okay, next package. We are down here. Again, sort of near Salvatore's place. Okay, there's this alleyway. We back up a little bit. Police bribe down there that you can see. Uzi and a package. So another sick weapon location to have right away. All right. Now we're going to the harbor, folks. Get ready. You better have your swim trunks. And you better not fall off this jump we're going to do. Okay, so take your car. Hang a right here because you need to jump these rooftops. Let's get the hell up this staircase. You know, run up and let's make this jump because if we we have to make it to be able to get the package. Okay, I'm going to make it on the first try because I'm the best at this game you've ever seen. Okay, let's try that again. One more, one more time. There we go, baby. Let's swipe that cocaine pack or whatever it is. Okay. Package 23. We're going up on the tracks in, in St. Mark's, up to these train tracks. And we're going to go down to Supa Save, which is right below it. Okay, it's a big department store. So Mark, you know, I'm sure you already marked it on your on your map. But I accidentally screwed up here and I went left. And I figured out it was over here because I forgetted. It's been a while since I played it. There we go. We got it at the corner. Nice. Pretty cool, dude. Nice. All right. All right. Number 24. Again, we're going back to the train tracks. Get the hell up there with your 1992 truck that's, you know, been in the swamps of Louisiana and you know, your cousin Enos tried to steal it from you. Okay. And then you uh, uh, filed for a restraining order against him because he tried to take your wife, which was his sister. So, anyway. Let's, uh, we come here on these tracks, okay? This is, um, near the Marty Chonk's dog food factory. And near Joey's garage, sort of. But anyway, you see the map there. I'm gonna jump from this beam, okay? Onto this roof. Let's fast forward it, okay? We're tired of waiting, we just wanna see. Now this is significant. AK-47, this early in the game. We've done, you know, two missions and we have an AK already. Again, remember this area to come and re-up your AK ammo. Get the package. Armor as well. Re-up the armor up here too. These things aren't exactly convenient, like I said early, earlier, but I mean, they don't take that long. So if you just keep doing that, you'll rack up ammo quicker than a, than a dog uh, on a bone or whatever. Okay, number 25, baby. Five more packages to get this early in the game. I think you can get a little more than 30, but I mean, 30 is the only amount that benefits us. Because getting 32 or whatever wouldn't get us anything more. But you smash this fence. The fences in this in this remaster are nuts. Like, there, there's so much crazier physics than the old ones. 26. 27 is, is right by this one. Extremely close by. Okay, we just want to jump over this brick wall. I 
I think I went the wrong way right away again. Yep, then I turn around and I go, oh, it was over here. I thought it was over there. <laughs> so there we go. Okay. Not everything's movie magic. Sometimes we suffer in silence while creating these uh, YouTube masterpieces you're watching right now. Okay. Next one's pretty close by as well. Right at the starting bridge. Get over that whatever the hell median cement chunk. And then we have number 28. Two left, guys. Okay, 29, let's go over here. You'll want a big truck. This is the sawmill, okay? I think you can get, you might be able to get up it another way, but that's the way I always get up it, is jumping over the fence. Uzi and armor, yet again. Sick weapon location and sick pickup. Package, 29. One left to get. And then we've got nades at the hideout, okay? Let's go down the pier. And uh, throw Giuseppe into the water with some cement shoes because he didn't play his protection money. And he's been a disgrace to the frickin' family for years. Okay, let's go get it. There we go. Grenades. Now, grenades are invaluable this early in the game, okay? Go do some missions and chuck nades at people. Okay, now we're gonna take some inventory. We have grenade, Uzi, pistol. All the time. Come and get them whenever you want. And a bat. But, um, they don't spawn like, you know, you'll, you'll get a feel for the spawn rates. But now we're going to go do ambulance missions. Now, this is not as easy as just getting packages. This is going to take some time. Um, you got to get to level 12 and complete level 12. So each level is the amount of patience you have to collect on the route. Level 1, you got to pick up one guy. Level 6, you got to pick up six people. And you can only fit three people in your ambulance at a time. So, anyway... Um, a little strategy I have is to drive before they're fully in the car because that saves you like a second or two. But you'll figure out, you know, look up strategies or you'll get a groove. It might take you a few times, but these missions, you know, you can do them. You can do it. If Crud can do it, you can do it. Okay, level 12. We've now unlocked infinite sprint, um, armor at the hideout. No, not armor, health and adrenaline at the hideout. Dude, it would be cool if we had armor at the hideout this early, but we can't get it this early. Let's go take inventory again. Alright. Let's roll up to the hideout. We got grenade, Uzi, pistol. Those are beautiful. And then we have um, adrenaline and health. So when you come back to the hideout after an exhausting mission, get some guns and get some health. These weapons make these missions a breeze for like a really long time. I want to say up until even... Staunton Island, or mid-Staunton Island, like, having all this cool stuff. Short work. Short work of most of these missions. Okay? Oh, okay, he, oh, yeah, see, just... Listen, we don't even need the bat. And check this out. This mission's kind of annoying. It's a chase mission where you gotta chase the guy down to whack him. And look what we do, okay? Pro strats with the AK yet again. This is the kind of stuff you can do without cheating in this game if you get this cool stuff early. Boom. All right, 10K, just like that, baby. Now, obviously it takes a little time to do all this stuff. You know, possibly like maybe up to three hours or so. But when you set up all this stuff, like we did in the video, you are then set for quite a while. And then you can add on to it, get all the packages in, in Staunton Island, you know, get do the missions over there, stuff like that. We might make a follow-up video. But anyway, guys, that's how you get overpowered in GTA 3 right away. So thank you guys so much for watching. We've got more videos coming up very shortly. And we will see you for another one.